prehistoric ancestors walked across a field in the modern nation of Tanzania. Now they're part of the largest fossil footprint site ever found on the African continent. Give us a direct record of how our ancestors walked almost four million years ago. Africa is a continent rich in history and culture that dates back approximately four million years. Archaeological evidence shows that humans and our hominid ancestors have been here way longer than we speculated. While Africa's mysteries remain, we continue to uncover them individually. Here are 15 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 15. Ancient Aliens Nestled within an Algerian national park is a stunning treasure trove of ancient art, a witness to the rich history of human civilization engraved into stone. This amazing site has an incredible collection of over 15,000 prehistoric drawings and sculptures. However, many believe there was much more in the distant past. Regrettably, only one out of every five of these historic masterpieces is still visible, while the others have faded with the passage of time. These ancient paintings provide a glimpse into essential features of human society, shifting environment, and animal migratory patterns from a bygone era. People dancing, hunting, and farming are among the scenes depicted in these vibrant artworks. Notably, they represent a time when the Sahara Desert was filled with wildlife, resembling a beautiful savanna that provided humanity with enough resources to survive. The location is famous not only for its old artwork, but also for its interesting rock formations, which add to the lovely mood of the area. This 1910 site contains a broad and intriguing collection of photographs that have fuel-led conjecture and wonder. Some of the mysterious depictions have raised eyebrows and sparked imaginations, implying the existence of alien visitors. A few paintings exhibit an eerie similarity to what may be taken as alien entities, prompting the first discoverer to call one of them a Martian god. Some photographs even look to be spacesuits, fueling suspicions of alien contact. Many experts, however, propose an alternate explanation, claiming that these strange images with elongated heads and ornate dresses may depict people in ceremonial garb. The presence of numerous hues in several of the paintings distinguishes this collection, which is unusual in ancient art. This invention sheds light on the level of expertise attained by the ancient painters of this region. Number 14. Three Million Year Old Footprint The finding of ancient footprints in Tanzania revealed a profound riddle that originally perplexed scholars. These traces, which resembled human footsteps, generated interest and controversy. Some even speculated that they belonged to bears rather than people. However, as scientists dug more into this mystery, the importance of these marks became clear. These footprints are a unique remnant from the past, dating back about 3.7 million years. They're around 10 inches long and have a lot of depth to them, so they can tell you a lot about the creatures who left them. These footprints are said to have been made by early relatives of modern humans who stood five and a half feet tall and weighed around 100 pounds. This discovery calls into question earlier assumptions about the physical traits of early humans during this time period, drastically changing our knowledge of prehistoric existence. Scientists had considered that humans did not reach this size until 1.5 million years later. However, this new data calls into doubt the timing of human evolution. While it is possible that the person responsible for these footprints was extremely tall, there is no agreement among specialists on this point. Some experts believe that these ancient humans were more similar to current humans than previously thought. This idea contrasts with the broad variability seen in contemporary apes, which show major differences across species. The advent of this theory highlights the potential that numerous species of early humans coexisted, calling into question the conventional view of human evolution as a linear trend. This newly discovered complexity in human evolution implies that our species may have coexisted with other diverse human species. Number 13. Seven Colored Earths Mauritius, an island republic off the coast of Africa drifting in the great expanse of the Indian Ocean, is home to a spectacular natural marvel nestled away among its beautiful forests, the Seven Colored Earths. This incredible occurrence bears witness to the island's volcanic past. 
where numerous minerals have left their imprint on the terrain, appearing as seven unique colors inside the sand dunes. These sand dunes, a natural artist's palette, display a magnificent range of hues. Each sand grain bears the imprint of previous volcanic activity, contributing to a mosaic of brown, green, violet, red, purple, blue, and yellow. It's a geological marvel that captivates the senses and inspires awe. The unusual resistance of Mauritius's excessive rains adds to the allure of this location. Unlike regular sand, which is readily washed away by heavy rains, these bright dunes stay firm, their hues brilliant and unblemished. The dunes appear almost magical, undisturbed by the elements. Close inspection may lead one to believe that the colors are really a dance of shadows, but the illusion fades as the eyes acclimate to the sight. The colors are genuine and unique, an enthralling embodiment of nature's craftsmanship in which the sands have preserved their mineral individuality despite the passage of time. Visitors are restricted by gates, and frequent access to the region is prohibited in order to protect this one-of-a-kind natural treasure. While one should not get too close to the sands to touch them, local businesses sell little vials of these beautiful grains, allowing tourists to take a bit of this wonder home with them. The gentle giants that inhabit the park, giant tortoises, add to the magic of the seven colored earths. These ancient animals amble around, completing the lovely scene and making this natural paradise a great place for families and children to visit. The vivid colors of the sand dunes are guaranteed to pique the interest of young children, igniting their curiosity and amazement. Number 12. Friendly Crocodiles Bazul in Bosu is a spectacular location in the landlocked African country of Burkina Faso. An amazing interaction occurs here between a tribe and the crocodiles that live among them. Members of this tribe go to extreme lengths, even laying atop these dangerous reptiles in a demonstration of unmatched faith and devotion, believing them to be holy entities incapable of harm. According to local tales, the origins of this one-of-a-kind friendship date back generations to a time of severe drought and a compassionate deed by a crocodile. A local lady set out on a frantic search for water in the midst of a dry terrain. A crocodile, moved by empathy, approached her and escorted her to the river, providing a lifeline in her hour of need. In appreciation for this remarkable gesture of goodwill, the town gathered to celebrate, launching an annual event known as Coom Locker. During this rite, locals beg the crocodiles for blessings of wealth, health, and many crops, seeing them as benevolent defenders of their society. The villagers' relationship with their reptile neighbors is so strong that when a crocodile dies, it is treated with the same regard as a fellow villager. A funeral is held to pay tribute to the creature that has been such an important part of their life and culture. According to local belief, a crocodile's roar acts as an ominous harbinger of coming calamity. The local leaders see this as a signal to identify and handle the approaching problem. This strong bond between crocodiles and people is inextricably related to their way of life and belief system. Number 11. Fairy Circles Enigmatic patterns known as fairy circles in the adjacent desert have long perplexed scientists. These natural beauties take the form of enormous circular regions, when all vegetation inexplicably disappears, leaving desolate plains. Beyond these lines, the desert's vegetation returns to life. The circumference of these fairy rings can range from 10 to a stunning 65 feet, with their exquisite symmetry adding to the mystery surrounding them. One of the most persistent tales about these fairy circles is that they are the consequence of ancient gods' footsteps crushing the plants under them until nothing remains. While this idea has a supernatural feel to it, contemporary science has attempted to explain the real genesis of these cryptic structures. However, considering the vastness of the desert, researching these circles is a difficult undertaking. Scientists try to explain these events rationally, focusing on the regular intervals at which the circles form. They contend that their existence must have a scientific foundation. The concept of gods with regular strides, on the other hand, provides a fascinating alternative to this argument. According to one proposed scientific explanation, the desert's harsh conditions generate strong competition for limited water supplies, resulting in the exclusion of flora within the rings. 
This idea explains the phenomena of the constant competition for water, which makes it hard for plants to flourish consistently over the environment. Another fascinating discovery lends credence to the notion that termites play an important part in the formation of these fairy rings. Researchers have discovered termite colonies thriving beneath the bare spots, indicating that they may have had a role in the formation of the circle. The colonies, it appears, cannot coexist without strong competition for food, necessitating substantial gaps between them and the surrounding regions bereft of vegetation. Number 10. Hidden Grave Patterns These mysterious cemeteries hidden beneath the desert may not be as hidden as their name implies. They may be seen on overhead maps. However, when viewed from the surface, their exquisite rock patterns might be difficult to identify. These geoglyphs reveal their secrets to the observant viewer from above. Yet the Neolithic humans who carved them lacked the bird's-eye viewpoint we now have. These ancient artworks inscribed into the Earth's canvas fascinate our imagination. These incredible tombs, dubbed keyhole tombs, have amazing proportions, with some spanning up to a thousand feet in length, the length of three football fields. These graves, embellished with beautifully carved rock formations depicting diverse scenarios, frequently include the famed Eye of the Sahara. This unusual geological feature, which appears to predate human existence, resembles a massive eye. Some speculate that it might be a relic of a greater Atlantis hiding beneath the dunes. The inner circle of the keyhole tombs serves as the last resting place for the departed, while the outside circles, precisely marked by rocks, appear to be beautiful in character. These sepulchers provide a glimpse into the past, with some going back 8,000 years and connecting us to a period when these arid regions bore witness to ancient ceremonies and beliefs. The discovery of these concealed desert cemeteries is largely due to the capability of satellite imaging. These tombs are frequently similar in design, with a center mound like a mushroom contained inside a circular perimeter. The ancient craftsmen's ingenuity, on the other hand, knew no limitations, and some of these creations are deeply unique, demonstrating the diversity of human expression and civilization. Number 9. Skeleton Coast the gloomy moniker of Namibia's Skeleton Coast comes from a somber history of shipwrecks and treacherous trips. This barren stretch of coastline has claimed countless vessels over the years, leaving their skeleton remnants scattered over the coast, a monument to the region's hazardous seas and brutal climate. Many of the ships that perished off the Skeleton Coast were involved in the perilous businesses of whale and seal hunting. These doomed ships frequently carried the bones of their prey, adding to the somber mood of the coast. The wrecks, in varying levels of deterioration, serve as unsettling reminders of a period when this area was dangerous. Offshore rocks hiding just beneath the tumultuous surface, as well as the dense, impenetrable fog that regularly blankets the coast, were the major causes of these marine tragedies. These natural risks combine to defy even the most competent sailors' attempts, culminating in catastrophic disasters. Survivors of these disasters faced a perilous situation. Stranded in a hostile desert environment, with just the scant food recovered from their sunk ships, they went on desperate expeditions in quest of shelter and nutrition. The region's long fight for existence in this hostile setting gave it the foreboding appellation, The Land God Made in Anger as alluded to by Namibia's indigenous bushmen. Among the stories of tragedy and misfortune, however, some stories give glimpses of hope and perseverance. Even in the 20th century, ships continued to perish in these perilous seas. Surprisingly, there are reports of vessels racing to deliver rescue and supplies to shipwreck survivors, only to face the same fate later, adding a strange layer of complexity to coastal history. Number 8. Giraffe with Crooked Neck Consider a giraffe with a twisted neck, a strange sight that may appear to be a genuine pain in the neck. Experts have commented on this odd event, noting that it might be the result of a giraffe injury or a congenital birth abnormality. However, it is only when you look at the giraffe from the front that you can see the real degree of the bend in its neck. Despite its obvious deformity, the giraffe travels through the wild with astonishing grace and agility, demonstrating that the crookedness of its neck does not interfere with its pleasure in life. This astonishing adaption demonstrates the beautiful creature's perseverance and flexibility, 
indicating that even in the face of physical limitations, they can flourish and relish the richness of their lives. Experts expect that this giraffe with a twisted neck's future may not include mating. Male giraffes compete for the right to mate by engaging in neck-to-neck -neck combat, a powerful display of strength and dominance. However, due to the peculiar state of this giraffe's neck, it may be less likely to participate in these strenuous competitions, making its involvement in mating rituals unlikely. This incredible giraffe is a living monument to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life in the wild. Despite its anatomical oddity, it navigates its surroundings with elegance and enthusiasm, reminding us of the animal kingdom's perseverance and persistence. Number 7. Afar Rift the Afar Rift, a geological marvel, provides a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness the creation of an ocean, an amazing process that unfolds over immense time spans. This unusual phenomenon began with a seismic event, the creation of a fissure along the African continent, which marked the beginning of this remarkable transition. The Earth's crust dropped by a remarkable two meters in a couple of days, an incredible event in such a short time scale. The gap continued to evolve over time, giving birth to many cracks and leading the ground to fall more than a hundred meters below its original level. At the same time, lava from the Earth's depths began to rise to the surface, laying the groundwork for what would become the ocean bottom. This geological action is occurring in front of our eyes. However, patience is required to experience the complete culmination of this vast natural enterprise. Scientists believe it will take an astounding 10 million years for a whole ocean to form in the heart of Africa. Meanwhile, the region will continue to be rife with earthquakes and volcanic eruptions as the continent undergoes its inevitable transition. The Afar Rift demonstrated its dynamic character in September 2015 with a 48-hour-long seismic outburst. This geological marvel is currently located primarily in Ethiopia, spanning around 35 kilometers. It is, however, likely to continue to spread and perhaps increase at a faster rate. The Afar Rift has a reputation for ferocity that goes beyond its geological significance. The region frequently experiences scorching temperatures, with daily highs reaching a sweltering 130 degrees Fahrenheit. In the middle of this scorching heat, the Earth's tectonic plates are moving apart at a rate of around one inch per year, a seemingly small amount but one that represents enormous progress in the geological time frame. The peculiar character of the marine crust that is progressively developing distinguishes the Afar Rift. Unlike other crusts, it provides a visual representation of the ongoing metamorphosis. Number 6. Venus of Tantan At first sight, a casual observer could overlook this inconspicuous bit of volcanic rock, which appears to be a naturally produced geological remnant. However, deeper inspection under a microscope reveals a world of exciting possibilities. Experts have discovered interesting grooves and purposeful changes engraved around the neck and sides of the figure. Unambiguous evidence of precise craftsmanship performed using sharp-edged instruments. However, the riddle deepens when one considers the rock's origin. It is thought that this stone, despite resembling a female figure, had a natural human-like form from the start. The use of this specific stone as a canvas is evocative of how a sculptor meticulously picks their material before beginning their creativity. The artifact in question, formerly known as the Venus of Berek Hat Ram, caused debate in the archaeological community. A critical finding, however, would soon throw new light on its significance. Enter Venus of Tantan a second figure discovered in Morocco. Radiocarbon dating dated the rock between 100 and 700,000 years ago, pushing the bounds of traditional thinking. These incredible dates contradict established assumptions since they predate not just the development of Homo sapiens, but also Neanderthals, modern humans' forefathers. The Homo erectus, an early stage of human evolution going back two million years, is now thought to be the creative force behind these archaic figures. These discoveries are a stunning witness to our ancient predecessors' creative proclivities, indicating that even humans who lived millions of years ago had a predilection for painting. These sculptures indicate the ability of Homo erectus, who inhabited the Earth ages ago, to be creative. Now let's check out today's subscriber pick. This massive and bizarre skeleton was discovered in a remote region in Africa. 
The terrifying photos of this strange discovery have left the online community baffled. Many are speculating that it is most likely on of the skeletons found at the Skeleton Coast. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. African Stonehenge In the year 2003, a pilot found himself soaring above the rolling hills of South Africa's mythical Empire Manga area. However, fate took an unusual turn when his jet collided with the slope unintentionally. He somehow survived the collision, but what he saw as he emerged from the debris would permanently change the path of his life. An awe-inspiring discovery of three huge dolomite boulders, each weighing an incredible five tons and penetrating through the Earth's surface. A massive stone circle came into view as the pilot examined the ground, an incredible find that had stayed hidden from the world's gaze, known only to a select few. This magnificent place sat hidden among the landscape, accessible only by steep dirt roads that cut through the habitat of untamed species. It became clear that this was a natural display of such magnificence that mere words could not do it credit. This magnificent assemblage, often referred to as the Adam's Calendar, is more than a mere collection of stones. It is, in essence, a megalithic stone calendar. It assumes the form of a vast circle, boasting an awe-inspiring diameter of approximately a hundred feet. This monumental construct has earned itself the moniker the birthplace of the sun and has been likened to Africa's equivalent of Stonehenge. Similar to many other enigmatic stone monuments found across the globe, the Adam's calendar bears an intricate celestial alignment with loose associations to the celestial sphere high above. Yet despite its undeniable significance and the wonder it inspires, it remains shrouded in the mysteries of time, its true purpose and significance still eluding comprehensive understanding. The ancient stone circle in the Empire manga area, like Stonehenge, suggests a fundamental link between human civilization and the universe. Its celestial alignment reveals a deeper, age-old concern with celestial motions and their impact on our terrestrial life. It invites us to reflect on previous societies' incredible ability to understand the heavenly tapestry and incorporate it into their hallowed structures. The Adam's calendar is a tribute to our world's ongoing secrets. And number four, Natron Lake. Nestled among the magnificent hilly scenery is the stunning Lake Natron, an apparently calm body of water with a striking blue tint. However, underneath its calm exterior, a gripping world of intrigue develops, exposing extraordinary phenomena. Lake Natron, famed for its stunning beauty, nevertheless has a fearsome reputation as one of the world's saltiest lakes, distinguished by its remarkable capacity to petrify species who dare to travel into its depths. At first look, the idea of creatures being turned into stone may conjure up images from fairy tales, but a closer investigation into the lake's mysteries reveals the grim truth of its incredible petrifying ability. Lake Natron has become the ultimate resting place for a variety of calcified species, including fish, turtles, bats, and even flamingos, all bearing testimony to the transformational power of this one-of-a-kind body of water. However, the mechanism underlying this phenomenon is not due to magic, but rather to a complicated interplay of events that coincide at the proper moment and location. Lake Natron's uniqueness stems from its physical position, as well as the peculiar chemistry that characterizes its character. At its core, Lake Natron is a salt lake, characterized by its absence of an outlet for the water, save for the inevitable process of evaporation. This lack of water movement contributes significantly to the lake's distinctive properties, Moreover, it boasts a dense concentration of the chemical natron, a key contributor to its petrifying prowess. This lethal combination of chemical composition and the absence of water circulation results in the lake's capacity to reach extraordinarily high pH levels, sometimes reaching as high as 10.5, a level akin to swimming in a pool of ammonia. As the waters of Lake Natron gradually evaporate under the sun's relentless rays, they release a noxious off-gas laden with toxins. When these toxic emissions mingle with the surrounding air, a lethal petrifying reaction ensues, transforming the ill-fated creatures into stone. The process of petrification is slow, with the corpses of the deceased creatures exposed to the constant effect of these poisonous chemicals. 
their once living forms calcify over time, transforming into enduring petrified relics that bear witness to the incredible forces at work. Number three, Egyptian boxes. Hidden deep below the convoluted chambers of an Egyptian pyramid are cryptic riches that have amazed scientists and historians since their discovery. These strange boxes, carved from the tough Aswan granite, violate antiquity's rules. Their sturdy precision-engineered design boasts tolerances that would be considered exceptional even by today's technology standards, despite their combined weight surpassing a hundred tons. The awe-inspiring question that researchers and fans alike have is how the ancient Egyptians accomplished this astonishing feat of engineering thousands of years ago. Could ancient extraterrestrial involvement provide the answers? While this remains an intriguing explanation, it is not the only one accessible, and the mystery continues. These stark black boxes decorated with hieroglyphics perplex experts even more due to their apparent poor quality. Some regard these writings as ordinary graffiti, making them useless in determining their real purpose or origin. Among the patchwork of hypotheses and speculations, there is a fringe theory that these boxes may have served as the last burial places of extraterrestrial rulers who once ruled over humans. While the precise form, purpose, and function of these mysterious boxes remain hidden in the mists of time, one truth is absolutely clear. They were of crucial significance to the ancient Egyptians, necessitating an unprecedented commitment of time and money to their creation. What is amazing is their extraordinary durability, surviving millennia of ravages yet remaining in immaculate form. The Egyptian pyramid box mystery continues to confound our knowledge of the ancient world. It invites us to investigate the junction of human inventiveness, technical prowess, and maybe the influence of forces beyond our understanding. These relics remain a lasting witness to the riddles of our common history, reminding us that there are still puzzles to solve under the sands of time. Number 2. Klerksdorp Sphere The Klerksdorp Spheres, a fascinating find in South Africa, have captivated scholars for years. These incredible spheres, estimated to be 3 billion years old, are said to have developed naturally through the processes of carbonate concretions and pressure deep under the Earth's crust. These small yet magnificent orbs range in diameter from half a centimeter to a more substantial 10 centimeter. Their virtually immaculate spherical form, free of grooves or blemishes, adds to their allure. Nature created this astonishing smoothness by progressively filling the spaces between sediments, similar to how crystals develop with precision in nature. The flawlessly spherical shape and lack of grooves, according to scientists, are the consequence of millions of years of natural weathering, ending in these little spheres ornamented with evenly spaced lines that encircle them in an uncannily accurate manner. Nonetheless, these mysterious spheres have not been without discussion and alternate explanations. Some argue that their amazing perfection is proof of ancient extraterrestrial visits, implying that interaction with an alien race may have been responsible for our species' astonishing progress. This presents the fascinating concept of evolutionary convergence, in which the convergence of features from diverse species results in the formation of highly sophisticated forms. Such a notion raises the potential that our encounters with an ancient extraterrestrial civilization contributed to our evolution as the most evolved species on Earth. Number 1. Underwater Waterfall A spectacle develops in the southern borders of the captivating island of Mauritius, challenging the very fabric of reality and evoking imagery from the pages of magical stories. This magnificent phenomenon, known as the Underwater Waterfall, is not a flow of water beneath the waves, but it is an optical illusion of such spectacular beauty that it will undoubtedly captivate you. Mauritius is a gem among a collection of islands perched above a huge undersea plateau known as an ocean shelf. This plateau, an underwater expanse of unearthly grandeur, plunges to depths surpassing 500 feet below sea level, making it the world's largest of its type. What truly captures the mind, however, is the sheer drop-off from this shelf's edge, a vertiginous plummet that drops into a fathomless abyss plunging to unfathomable depths of almost 13,000 feet. The fascinating optical illusion takes form as you stare into this abyss. 
It's a captivating flow of sand and silt sediments rather than water that appears to cascade into the unknown. Although not a standard waterfall, this spectacular creates the appearance of falling waters through an ethereal dance of particles that captivates the senses and surpasses the borders of reality. This mesmerizing underwater phenomenon, in which earth and water appear to collaborate to produce a spectacular show, serves as a reminder of the treasures that lie under the waters. It emphasizes the great beauty and mystery of our planet's depths, where optical illusions may transform a seemingly ordinary seascape into a hypnotic dreamscape. While not a waterfall in the classic sense, the sight of sand and silt particles seemingly plummeting into the depths of Mauritian seas inspires us to marvel at the wonders of our world, where truth and illusion meet in a beautiful exhibition of nature's craftsmanship. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.